The bunnies were too fast. George would have to outthink them. One down, six to go. Lucky for George, bunnies are too young to know about footprints. It takes more than a superior brain to outthink bunnies. It helps to be wearing a cap. Three down, four to go. <laughs> Squirrels don't like surprises, not even small ones. He counted the bowls. He'd caught Whitey, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, Brownie, and a jumpy squirrel. Ooh. Um, add being grabbed by a monkey to the list of surprises that squirrels really don't like. Not all footprints lead to cute little bunnies. Ooh. Hi, George. What you doing? <laughs> Bill was almost done. George's time was running out. George had caught every bunny except Herbert Nininger, and Bill would be home soon. <laughs> George had looked everywhere. What he needed was a bunny expert. But who knew a lot about bunnies? It wasn't going to work. George tried to explain this was no time to play with a fuzz ball. She had to find Herbert Nininger. This was no ordinary fuzz. This was the end of Herbert Nininger. Hey, George. Keeping the bunnies company? Thanks. As a reward for doing that and being so patient, I'm gonna let you pet one right now. Petting a bunny isn't easy. It's all about maintaining control. Step one, unlock latch. <laughs> but you wanna pet a bunny, don't ya? <laughs> okay, you sure are one careful kid. Hey. How'd that acorn get in there? Time to go home. But where was home? 
George realized that finding someone works better if you're not lost too. Hunley worried. What if he never found his way back? Oh, Hundley, what'll I do without Hundley? <laughs> Hundley and George weren't just lost. They were lost at night. They may not be able to see their way home, but maybe they could hear their way home. George tried to remember the noisy stuff he'd passed. Here they were, lost at night, and all this monkey could do was whatever that was. Then Hunley had an idea. They might not be able to see their way home, but maybe they could hear their way home. He tried to remember what he'd heard. Now it was up to Hunley's powerful dog ears. That wasn't the right sound. So the musician couldn't be in that direction. That was either the wrong sound or the musician got his tongue caught in his trumpet. Hunley knew they were getting closer because the sound was growing louder and louder. But then it grew softer and softer. <laughs> Hunley tried to figure out how to explain they'd passed the sound. But there are some things a dog just can't explain to a monkey. And so, by working together as a team, George remembering what they had heard, and Hunley using his sensitive, powerful dog ears, Hunley and George found their way back to the alley behind their home. They were home thanks to teamwork. Hunley couldn't remember why he ever thought George was trouble. Rugs all clean, sir. You should see the dirt I picked up. This barrel probably has the filthiest water in the world in it. George really wanted to see the filthiest water in the world. George thought he recognized that tail racing toward him. But it couldn't be Hunley. 
Hunley would never go that fast. How many roller skating wiener dogs could there be in the city? It was over. Hunley was sorry he tried these wheel shoes on and never wanted to see them again. A dog on skates? What a talented little guy you must be. And so handsome. Then again, he did look good on those wheel shoes. With a little practice, he could be the talk of the town. Good dog! <laughs> Hunley could think of nothing worse than skating down the sidewalk out of control with a cat on his back. Until... Whoa! That cat's skateboard is, like, made of dog! Milky realized that when the boy leaned, he could steer. So maybe she should try it. George thought he recognized that flying dog. But it couldn't be Hunley. Hunley wouldn't fly. Then again, how many skating, flying, wiener, dog, and cat teams could there be in the city? George thought this was a good time to show Hunley how to stop. No matter what George did, they kept going faster and faster. He couldn't imagine how they were ever going to stop. Then he could. Hanley, I've been worried. Where have you? You are a muddy mess. Ooh. Looks like he's not the only one. We can't have the tenants see us like this, Hundley. I'll get a towel and get you cleaned up, boy. Time for you to clean up too, George. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. George? Hunley was sure if that monkey and cat hadn't been around, he could have learned to skate. Say, weren't there two pairs of skates? Must have been my imagination. George didn't find the farmer but he found the pump. Uh, 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 uh. 
this is when good watch pigs go get their farmer. They needed a gate opener pig. How could such a little monkey move a big, heavy pump? George could use a bike to move the pump. Maybe the wheel should be on the pump and not on the monkey. Snaggy legs. Uh, want me to wrap it? Hmm. You know what? I, I like the snaggy legs better. Can you put them back on? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no problem. As long as you buy it. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Even with wheels, George needed help to pull it all the way back to the house. The goat sure liked to pull. He was the perfect choice. Or maybe the pigs would do it. But when he opened the gate, they ran to do their watch pig duties and get their farmer. Wasn't there anybody who'd help? The chicks were willing. But the cow was a lot stronger. <laughs> All right, got it. What is it? Something wrong? Oh, I think they're trying to tell us something. They're trying to tell us all the pigs are loose. Get them! <laughs> that cow was so good at towing a pump that it went right past her. Before long, he'd pumped all the water out of the house. George, I'm home. Wow, that new rug makes the whole room look cleaner. George, come see what I bought. George? George knew the room was still a little squishy. But he had the feeling there was something else he forgot. Mm. Mm. George! Well, whatever he forgot, he knew he was going to hear about it soon enough. 